Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the Scott Sports 101 Thursday Night Football uh, pregame show. We'll call it a pregame show, second quarter show, because the first quarter came to an ass 10 6 Chiefs uh, on the Broncos right now. And uh, I'll break it all down and tell you what I feel both the Chiefs need to do and what I feel the Broncos need to do as well. And I'll give my thoughts on my Thursday Night Pick of the Week. And uh, But first, here is today's Scott Sports 101 Thursday Night Football trivia question. Which Chiefs QB holds the team record for most passing yards in a single game? I'll have the answer uh, later on the broadcast. Uh, the Chiefs are coming off a, uh, oh, it's Thursday Night Football Week 7. We have, and we have a great AFC West matchup going on uh, right now. The Kansas City Chiefs and the uh, uh, Denver Broncos are squaring off at Sports Authority Field in Denver, Colorado. Uh, the Chiefs are coming off a 7.31-24 upset loss to the Houston Texans at last week at home at Arrowhead Stadium. The Chiefs are three-point favorites in tonight's game against the Broncos. And you you can be sure the Chiefs are going to want to get the one in this game tonight at, after uh, losing last week. And uh, the Chiefs are in first place right now in the AFC West with a record of uh, four and two. The Chiefs' defense has been very hesitant with their game lately. They've been letting the opposing team's defense come at them instead of attacking the ball and being aggressive. They have to not let the Broncos' defense come at them. They need to attack the ball, and they got to be aggressive on Denver's defense as well, besides putting the pressure on Broncos quarterback Joe Flacco. Uh, the Chiefs have, have lost their last two games in a row at home, and uh, they really are going to be out to win this game tonight. You could on the road tonight. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, the second, is, has a sore ankle injury. He's going to start tonight, but we don't know what he's going to do. And we don't know if he's going to be healthy or not. We'll wait and see what happens, but hopefully he'll have a good game. So we uh, shall see. But the uh, Bronco, the Chiefs really need to attack the ball. with Their defense needs to step up their game tonight to really get the win. Uh, meanwhile, the Broncos are coming up a 16 to nothing win over the Tennessee Titans last week. The Broncos have won their last two games straight on the road, and you can be sure the Broncos are going to be out to win this game tonight. Uh, the Broncos really need to uh, put the pressure on the Chiefs' defense by far, and especially Tyreek Hill, who is a really good defensive player. But his game has not been good as of lately, but he needs to step it up tonight, and the defense of the Chiefs really needs to step up their game. And I feel the Broncos' defense needs to step up their game as well. And they need to establish a good running and uh, passing game besides putting the pressure on uh, uh, Chiefs quarterback uh, Patrick Mahomes, the uh, second. And I feel uh, the Broncos really, uh, I mean, they're, they're, they have a decent team. It's not an exceptionally great team. But I feel they need to really step it up tonight if they want to beat the Chiefs because the Chiefs can come at you on the road. They're, besides being a good home team, uh, winning team, team at home, but a good uh, road team as well. So I think, and I just feel that the Broncos really are going to have their work cut out against the Kansas City Chiefs tonight, because the Chiefs are going to be out to win this game after losing uh, two games in a row tonight, two games in a row uh, the last two weeks. And uh, and I got to tell you, I just feel the uh, that the Chiefs are really going to. Uh, by far have the edge in this game and I guess but I mean it, it, it could go either way tonight and you've got to know that the both these teams are really uh, uh, good road teams and good home winning teams they both are so I mean but any team can any who plays on Thursday night can be any given team that plays on Thursday night, either way so you got to know that and the uh, the Chiefs uh, they really uh need to really get their uh, game up, with especially with the defense. And their defense has really struggled as of late. And I feel they need to really step it up tonight against the Broncos and not let the opposing team, the Broncos defense, come at them, as I uh, said earlier. And uh, I just feel that, uh, that, that, that I, th I really feel that the, uh, that, uh, and for my Thursday night pick, I am. I feel, I feel the Chiefs have the edge in this game, so I'm going with the Chiefs. And my brother Lance will let me know if he's going to take, but I think he's going to go with the Chiefs as well because they're favored. So I've given him the Chiefs. And uh, 
And uh, we have other, t- other action. The, uh, my, the Browns are on a bye week this week, and so uh, so they'll get ready to take on the uh, New England Patriots next week. And uh, But yes, I am going with the Kansas City Chiefs tonight because I just feel the Chiefs have the edge in this game by, by far, and I think they're going to get the win tonight and go to 5-2. And, two. and uh, I just feel... Uh, I think uh, Patrick Mahomes, I think we don't know how he's going to do, but I think he's going to have a good game tonight. He's going to really come away with the win because he, his game of late, I mean, he has faltered in some areas, but I think he's going to have a good game tonight, I think. So we'll see what happens. And uh, uh, we'll see. Hopefully, the Chiefs are going to come away with the win in uh, this game uh, tonight. Uh, uh, um, we will, uh, I'll have uh, more thoughts on this game. Uh, in just a moment, but uh, first it is uh, time now to reveal the answer to today's Scott Sports 101 Thursday Night Football Trivia Question. Which Chiefs QB holds the team record for most passing yards in a single game? And if you said, <coughs> excuse me, and if you said Elvis Gerbach, you are correct. On November 5th, 2000, Elvis Gerbach uh, completed 39 of 53 uh, passes for 504 yards, uh, two touchdowns, and two interceptions. But the but was outdueled by his former backup, Rich Gannon, as the Chiefs fell to Gannon's Raiders, 49 to 31. And I will have a, another trivia question on my next podcast, which will probably be on Scott Sports 101. Sunday, the early game show, uh, the pregame show for the early games on Sunday. So stay tuned for that. Uh, now, uh, getting back to uh, this game today, I just feel uh, uh, now the Chiefs have lost two straight at home. The Broncos have lost two, uh, have won two straight on the road, and. I just feel that, uh, that these two teams are really going to be uh, butting heads tonight, and it's going to be a duel. But I feel like Kansas City is going to have the edge in this game because, I mean, you go on the road and anything can happen when you're playing a game on the road. And I just feel that the uh, the uh, Kansas City Chiefs are really going to have the edge in this game tonight and come away with their win in this game. And... I just feel, it's just, I really feel that, that I don't see the Broncos being the Chiefs tonight, and I just feel that that the uh, Broncos are, they've been hesitant lately in their uh, game, and although they did win last week, so it could go either way tonight with this game, and I do feel that, uh, uh, that they really uh, have to, uh, that the Broncos really need to get their uh, their offense needs to step it up as well, and uh, so we're we're really gonna have to see what happens tonight in this game. And but the Chiefs they gotta not be hesitant, and they have got to really uh, the special teams uh, uh, the special teams really needs to step it up and really uh, uh, be aggressive as well. And they need to put the pressure on the Broncos uh, defense as well, and. Uh, all feel, they need to not miss a field goal, and they, there needs to be no turnovers, no penalties whatsoever in this game tonight. And so we're gonna have to wait and see what happens. And uh, and I just, but by far, I am going with the Chiefs to win uh, this game uh, tonight. And I just really feel that the Chiefs are by far uh, going to uh, come away with the uh, win in this game tonight. Uh, so, uh, well, that is just about going to wrap it up for the Scott Sports 101 Thursday Night Football uh, pregame show, second quarter show. Uh, and I will be back with the Scott Sports 101 Thursday Night Football postgame show once the Chiefs-Broncos game has concluded. But until then, always remember, be a team player. Each and every day, in every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one. I'm done.